Hello guys! In today's video I'm going to talk about something that was on high demand. People requested this uh, from me already, so I'm going to talk about the Photoshop beta app and what you can do with it when it comes to the generative fill and how you can use it to create 3D materials and how you can combine it with Substance 3D Sampler. So let's dive into it. For example, the first thing that you have to do is that you have to download the Photoshop beta app and um, you can find a bunch of information about it, what you can what you can do with it. Basically, you can generate images from a simple text prompt and um, you can find Adobe Photoshop beta here in your uh, Creative Cloud desktop app if you go to, uh, to this beta app tab and there you can find it and there you can download it. And um, when you open Photoshop, you can you can create a new file and I always go for like the 4K texture size because I like to have my details. And now you won't see it working, you know, you don't have this uh, generate button here. What you can do is that you can use this rectangle marquee tool and then you just have to basically se select everything. And uh, here you can see generative fill and then you can type anything here. And what I really experimented with is, uh, for example, scratched metal surface and other like risograph texture and stuff like that. So let's check it out what it's doing. Black and white risograph texture. And now we have to wait a little bit and you will get uh, some results. You will get three options so you can you can choose them and if you don't like it, you can just ask for more. And here we got these textures. I like this one for example, but we can always generate more when we are not happy with the result. Later on I will show you what kind of results I get out of it after a couple of tries. It's, it's really fun. <laughs> I really enjoy this uh, creative process. Oh, this one is really nice. And you can export it basically. Um, yeah, here are my resograph text textures. I will show you a couple of examples what I what I created with this. For example, these. These are really fun. Textures in this one. So all of these are there. You can you know, like scratch metal surface. You can you can generate this stuff with it, and you can even you know combine them together and um, create something really cool. For example, I don't know. You can drag and drop it on the top of it, and then select that you only want to use like the darker color, and like you know mix this stuff together. You can just get creative with, the, with these things. And uh, these are the scratch metal images that I got. Few of them. And I this one I this one I really liked. So this is what I'm going to show you that how you can use this um, for example texture like this in Substance CD sampler and how you can build some kind of um, rock material or marble, marble looking scratched surface. So when you go to sampler, you just drag and drop your material into it and as you can see uh, image to material, this is also AI powered in Substance CD sampler and you don't have to do anything else, just uh, click on the import and you import it and the uh, sampler will automatically generate a texture for you a material actually, not just a texture, a set of textures. Let's open the 2D CD view and here you can see that uh, this is how it looks. Change the tiling so that we can see what we are doing. At first, um, I like to change the roughness to have a little bit more glossiness in my material. And I already like it like this, but you can add a couple of uh, add a couple of fine out touches. Uh, for example, make it tile to make it seamless. It 
looks really cool. And you can add, of course, the dirt, dirt, the dirt filter to it, so it will a little bit be a little bit more dirtier. We don't need this much dirt, though. Yeah, like this. And then we can add, for example, cracks. More cracks to it. Let's put it under the dirt. And now you can see that the dirt is sitting in the cracks. You don't need this much. I did not want to add this much uh, cracks to my material, just a little bit like this, for example. And uh, if you're happy with this, you can just like build a new scene in Stager. And what I did is I used this material on one of these blood models that I created. This one is from Substance 3 CD Modeler. And then you go to Sampler and just send it to Stager. Yeah, so the, when the material arrives to Stager, then what you can do is that change the projection mode of the material. And I kind of like it like that. Let's check it with the ray tracing. Or you can change the resolution. Um, I wanted to show you how I built uh, this scene that you can see on the cover of this uh, video. So I will quickly show it to you. These shapes are from Substance 3D Assets and basically you can just uh, place them the way you want. This one for example in here. What I added, I added the cylinder as well, with the bevel. Mm, yeah, make it a bit a bit higher. Like this. And just place everything on top of it. Very like about Stager is that you can just work with it extremely fast. Oh, we don't need this one. And then we can add the camera, of course. Change the resolution. But I always change the focal length. You can add some depth of field. Another set of models that I used. These are on a... You can find them on soft and studio sets if you go to the models and you go to the abstract category and there you can find the these model sets. And what I did is basically I just scale them. This one I made bigger. I didn't like this tooth like look. What I like about abstract 3D art is that you can do basically whatever you feel like doing and there is no limit 
you can just experiment creatively and it's really fun and I just like to do it. Okay, so let's leave it like this and, uh, and now you can start coloring it. I used a pink material on these models. You can check with the camera how it looks. And uh, of course the focus point was not working well. And you can play with the textures, you want maybe a little bit roughness or metallic. You can use the sampler tool to copy one material to another. And of course, Subsurface scattering that looks always really good. And in the interior, you can change the color of the material. Look at this yummy bubblegum type of thing. So, and for this, we can also use the pink if you want or any other, like for example, concrete material from here, which is a little bit more basic without scratches than the one we had before. So this is the final result. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and inspired you to explore a little bit more what you can create with the generative fill in Adobe Photoshop beta. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.